Hi, this is Kyle with Tomcat TV, and today we will be starting one of the new Marvel shows, Loki. I am a few weeks behind, to say the least. I just had to finish up on Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which I was also behind on. And then also, of course, I've been kind of uh, going back and forth between those and uh, Invincible. So, uh, that being said, I am really excited to get into watching Loki. Loki I, is something I've been excited about for a while now. It looks really, really good. Um, I'm excited to see uh, Owen Wilson, because I know Owen Wilson's in it. And I, I freaking... To have Owen Wilson in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, to hear him say, I'm assuming... Wow, or wow, 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 wow. Anyways, wow. In the Marvel cin uh, Cinematic Universe, whether it's a show or not, I am just super pumped on because I love Owen Wilson. Uh, you know, a big fan of watching like Shanghai Noon, Shanghai Nights. I don't know. Just there's something about Owen Wilson that's just classic to me personally. It's I, it's my childhood essentially. Which um, that being said, I, I really don't want to wait too much longer. I, I'm really not entirely sure about what's going on in this. I, I do know it has something to do with uh, kind of, I guess, the time police and people who screw with the timeline. So I'm really curious to see how this goes and what they do about it and how what Loki's role is in this. All right. So that being said, um, like I said, I'm really excited to get started on this. Um, and hopefully go through the show fairly consistently, maybe catch up a little bit. I doubt I'll be able to catch up, obviously, because I just do not have the time as being, you know, uh, a new father and also, you know, just having a full-time job. Definitely don't have to ha have the time to release uh, consistently at least two episodes a week. If I find the time to where I can go ahead and edit them down and all that stuff, I definitely will do it, but I'll, I'll try to at least get an episode of a show out a week, whether it's an episode of this or an episode of Invincible. Invincible. I was thinking about replacing Invincible with something specific after the fact, after I finish with it, but I'm honestly not sure what I would be able to replace it with at this point just because I don't know if I'll even have the time to do it. Maybe what I could do is just like once a month watch like a Fast and Furious movie because I actually haven't seen any of those. So that could be actually quite a bit of fun to be quite honest. I, I, I've heard about the new one and I've heard kind of about the ridiculousness. I love the memes. So I'd be really curious to see that too. Um, that being said, okay, I got to go ahead and focus up, get started on this because I know what you guys are here for. Um, please stick around to the end so I can go ahead and get a max number of time on this. In fact, actually, here's a plan. Here's a plan. Here's a deal. Um, you guys, anyone who watches my video, just go on before going to work, go to my main page, to all my uploads and hit play all. And just let that play while you're at work. Just go through them all. Get me to, was it, I think a thousand hours of watch time. No, 4,000 hours of watch time in like a day. Do that. I will be eternally grateful. We can get me monetized. Well, I guess I still need a thousand subscribers. Anyways, it'll, it, it, it'll help. It'll help. I think it'll help with the algorithm. Anyways, let's go ahead and get started. Not waste too much more time. I'm really excited to see this. I'm... That's all I really can say about it at this point. So let's get started. Three, two, one. Boom. Ooh, I'm drinking Pepsi today. Cherry Pepsi. I need to try to like drink a little less soda, but it's just so hard, man. I just. Bro. And what's cool about this is, is this is not the redeemed Loki. This is the sketchy Loki. So this should make things actually fairly interesting. And, and this timeline, too. This means Loki just, like, disappeared? Or are they going to have this to where this is... That he just erased himself from... I don't see that it wouldn't make sense either. This is all going to take place in the same timeline. And I love the green. That's cool. This is it all going to take place in the same timeline to where, basically, Loki will be able to come back? Or is this the time police kind of like an outside time sort of thing? I don't know. I'm just kind of throwing stuff out there. I'm definitely in the mood to theorize, that's for sure. Nice. Hmm. It's very reminiscent of Tony crashing in the desert in Iron Man. Hey, hey, look, it's my kitty. Hi. Aha! Don't touch that. 
on behalf of the Time Variance Authority, I hereby arrest you for crimes against the sacred timeline. Get out of my way. <laughs> Jeez, what the heck? Jeez, that sucks. What did they say? It was the Time Variance Enforcement or something like that? I, what was it, like, TVA? Administration, maybe? That's cool. At that point, there's no point in running, bro. Can you at least tell me what it is? It's the Tesseract. Be very careful with it. Sounds dumb. Sounds dumb. <laughs> it's kind of fun to watch them kind of just... Especially in this point of the time of his life, to see him kind of knocked on his butt. Kitty! My wife would love us. Please don't verify this is everything you've ever said. <laughs> This is awesome. This be so Please jarring. confirm to your knowledge that you are not a fully robotic being. We're born an organic creature and do in fact possess what many cultures would call a soul. <laughs> this is so jarring for him. You know, I mean, it's just like... Take a ticket. What is this, a deli? No. Take a ticket. So smug, you know. This is a little jarring though. Who's this gonna be? Welcome to the Time Variance okay. Authority. I'm Miss Minutes, and it's Ms. my Minutes? job to catch you They're up before mascot. you stand trial for your crime. But then the all knowing timekeepers emerged, hmm. bringing peace by reorganizing the Weird. multiverse into a single timeline the sacred timeline. Okay. So is the TV8. Was it, are they from the future or is it something to where the timekeepers brought people from like earth to serve in it outside of the timeline? I don't know. I'm just. Give me a ticket. I tried to ticket, ask for one. sir. Well, you guys are raising your voice with me, Buckethead. <laughs> Good thing you grabbed the ticket. This is already really interesting at the very least. Somebody got the jump on him. You think? So who is it? Who's going to be the antagonist? I didn't even think about who the antagonist is in this, honestly. Wounds look consistent with the others. Just excited to see Owen Wilson. <laughs> the branch is nearing red light. We need to go. Okay. Oh, that splits it into another to a multiverse, right? How do you plead? I've seen her in other stuff. I think that show called Touch. I suspect the Avengers. You see, I only came into possession of the Tesseract because they traveled through time. Okay, so he figured it out. <laughs> but believe me, you can smell the cologne of two Tony Starks. <laughs> what they did was supposed to happen. You escaping... Really? Huh. That's interesting. And I think it's just because they kept everything fairly consistent. But who deems what's supposed to happen to... The timekeepers, right? What gives them the right to dictate what happens? Court finds you guilty, and I sentence you to be reset. Next case, please. Reset. What does that mean? What does that? Is it bad? What does it mean? Just reset them in the timeline, or what do they do? Approach the bench. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh wow! Find this place to the ground. I'll show you where my desk is. You can start there. Have <laughs> <laughs> a look. Jeez, where where is that? Is it just in like another realm? Is it just out outside time? That's actually kind of what I was wondering if it's outside of time. I'm Agent Mobius, by the way. Mobius. Mobius. I know what a Mobius is, like you get the Mobius strip, but in there... That's where you just were. But you do like to lie, which you just did. Because mm -hmm. we both know you love, love to talk. talk. Yeah. Talky, talky, talky. I like the set design in this. It looks good. Mm. Oh, excuse me. 
I burp so much in these videos, I just need to do a montage of me burping. Whoa. I told you time moves differently in the TVA. Come on, sit down. Yeah, this Loki's always going to be looking for an angle on how to, like, screw anybody. He's only going to be ever interested in himself. He's... It's kind of interesting. I think he just needs to be humbled to the point where he, uh... Changes. I mean, that's kind of what happened throughout the Thor movies and then into Infinity War. Dangerous variants. What kind of soda are they drinking? Like myself. Mm. No particularly dangerous variants. You're just a little pussycat. <laughs> What's new, pussycat? Whoa, whoa. And you want to get out of here, right? Yeah, so we'll start there. Mobius. Slow Mobius. That's Rick and Morty. Now you're the king of Midgard, then what? Happily ever after? Nine rounds. Space. The final frontier. These are the voyages of the Slaughter Ship Enterprise. Why does someone with so much range just want to rule? Hmm. Flattering him a little bit. Makes you sound super smart. <laughs> Enjoy hurting people, making them feel small, hmm. making them feel afraid. So he's trying to actually rehabilitate him. Look at that smile. You are enjoying that. Did you enjoy hurting them? I don't have to play this game. Trying to guilt him. What can I say? I'm a mischievous scam. Uh, miss. Yes, Mr. Kipper. You might want to take a look at that. Cooper. D.B. Cooper, right? That's kind of interesting. I fail to see how this has any shh, relevance shh, shh, or bearing no, shh, shh, shh. on... This is the good part. <laughs> Brother, Heimdall, you better be ready. Brother and Heimdall? Really? Were they helping him? I need to remember the entire story of D.B. Cooper because... Honestly, you're pathetic. I made it proud. Please, don't make this worse. What is this? This is nonsense. More tricks. It's never even happened. TVA doesn't just know your whole past. We know your whole life, how it's all meant to be. Think of it as comforting. He's gonna show his death, isn't he? And then the Dark Elves attack the palace, and you think you send them to Thor, but instead you send them... Okay. I didn't think so. Them right to her. I don't believe you. You're lying. It's not true. It is true. Do you enjoy hmm. hurting people? I don't believe you. Do you, you enjoy killing? I'll kill you. What, like you did your mother? <laughs> Boom. Bro. And now you don't have the chair there even. You were born to cause pain and suffering and death. That's how it is. That's how it was. That's how it will be. I love Owen Wilson's part in this. He's just a tool for others to use to become heroes, essentially. Huh. That would be crushing to hear, especially if you felt convinced of it. To feel like your life has no purpose other than to, like, fail. He tries to th trick Thanos in the end and he fails. He lifted it. Don't go anywhere. He's just getting good. Just getting good. Yeah, he totally lifted it from him. Because that's what Loki always does. Okay, Loki, I think we can finish up tomorrow and just pick it up. Is he able to unlock it using that thing, too? Mischievous camp. Mischievous camp. Hey, I know you. You're that criminal with the blue box. Give me the Tesseract or I'll gut you like a fish, Casey. What's a fish? What's a fish? <laughs> oh. <Is that? sighs> what? What? How do you have these? Oh, we actually got a lot of those. <laughs> Some of the guys use them as paperweights. 
because it's outside of time. I think I saw something about those not working outside of time or something to that effect, right? Is he going to try to pick the lock or something? Or is he going to try to watch more of his sister? Is he going to see himself die? It's really weird how you look back at the Avengers from the first one and you see the design of a lot of their costumes and stuff and it looks really dated, honestly. Like it really didn't like age very well, honestly. And he's realized that... I love you, my sons. Oh. And he sees both his mother and his father die. Or at least the man who raised him, of course. And he sees himself sitting side by side with Thor. And not his adversaries. Adversaries, I guess is the best way to say it. So is he just essentially learning his lesson right now? By seeing his own history? And he sees his death. He gets to see Thor crying over his body. That's the end of Loki. Hmm. Oh, hey. Bro. <laughs> the question is where she go? He's really figuring everything out really quick. Stop it. He's gonna like kill her. And just prune my cart so there was nothing I could have done. <sighs> Come on, Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson does not have a first name and a last name. He has a name, and it's Owen Wilson. I don't enjoy hurting people. I do it because I have to. Because I've had to. Ooh, elaborate trick. Conjured by the weak to inspire fear. A desperate hmm. play for control. Hmm. So he's acknowledging that he's weak, he's not sh Hmm. Listen, I can't offer you salvation, but maybe I can offer you something better. Fugitive variants been killing our Minutemen. And you need the God of Mischief to help you stop them. That's right. Why me? variant we're hunting is you. Whoa. Bro, really? Nah. It's not worth the paperwork. Just prune it, let's bail. Set a charge. Wait. So Loki is the bad guy. But is he really? Is that somebody just pretending to be him? Dude. Dude, he's toasting him. Why wouldn't they use him? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's why he was asking if he enjoyed hurting people. He's stealing those. Those things that reset the timeline. Christian's why? But you're not even seeing him, though. So is it even really Loki? And how they know it's Loki that they're hunting? Or is it a tangent timeline that was caused by Loki separating? See, that's the question here. This is really interesting. I This thing is basically made for theories. I feel like part of why I feel like WandaVision was so interesting to me is because it was essentially just like made for theories, honestly, because there was so much mystery involved. I don't feel like there was really as much mystery involved with... Um, Falcon and the Winter Soldier, because it's like, you weren't really, you were wondering what was going to happen, but you weren't wondering, oh, who is this? Who's going to do this? Who are they talking about? I mean, I guess there was a power broker, it just, I don't know, it just wasn't as interesting to me, nor was the payoff. That being said, this is really interesting. I'm really interested to see more obvious of Mobius, uh, the Minutemen, who are the time cops. I, 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 there's a lot of this type of stuff that I find a little interesting. The, the timekeepers. I kind of want to watch, um read up on who the timekeepers are and stuff. That way I can kind of get some of these references. But I think what I'll do, I don't want to get spoilers, so I guess I'll wait. Um, 
don't spoil anything for me uh, below, obviously, because I don't want to... I, I, I like this mystery. I like not knowing a whole lot, so... I think that's why it's, this is a good show for me to watch. Oh, dude, him being D.B. Cooper was hilarious. That was really kind of funny. That was like kind of, he, he lost a bet with Thor, so he did that. And I think it's interesting that he's using Loki to obviously, hopefully, stop Loki somehow. Oh, that's cool. So he's using Loki to hopefully try to stop Loki. And that whole thing, basically, he was going to take him through his life to basically... I was, I had a thought. Dude, did I see like one of the Marvel, uh, the Doctor Strange sort of time things? I think I did see that actually. That's pretty cool. But holy crap, that was actually really interesting. I, I just feel like it gives you just enough mystery to make you really wonder what's going on. So I'm really enjoying that. I'm excited to see more of that. Um, it was interesting to see him kind of get a good look at his life. And I think... Him asking those questions about whether he is just, you know, a sociopath and just enjoys hurting people and is sadistic and all that stuff. I think that was a good setup for where his life, and almost telling him that he's kind of useless, that he's just a useless failure who goes no, his purpose is to go nowhere in life except for where he can further the goals or the status of greater men. It, humbled him just enough to prepare him for basically the way his life was going to go if he had stayed inside that timeline which was essentially redeeming himself seeing that his brother his father his mother they all loved him and that he was going to end up dying for all of them and that his brother was going to basically cry on his body <laughs> so i'm really i really do appreciate what they're trying to do with this it's really good it's really good um I really am excited. I want to see more of this. I, I do like these episodes. It looks like they're not really long, obviously. They're, what I lo love about Disney, or the, the Disney Plus shows, is it seems like they're just trying to essentially do what... They're just trying... They basically allow them to take however much time they need to tell the story for each of these episodes. Because there's some, like, on Division where they're, like, you know, just over 20 minutes long... And then there's other ones that are like, then they go 30 minutes and then it's like 40 something minutes and then it's basically almost an hour. Uh, they're more consistently long in uh, Falcon Winter Soldier, but yeah, I'm definitely, I, I am definitely excited to see more of this. Um, I'm excited to see the Tangent Timelines. I assume that they're probably, this is going to probably set up some stuff with uh, Doctor Strange, especially seeing um, the ring, the sling, sling rings, I think is what they're called from Doctor Strange. And, it, and especially because Doctor Strange has to deal with the multiverse, which means that we're going to be dealing with alternate universe, which hopefully then we introduce Tobey Maguire Spider-Man and Andrew Garfield Spider-Man, along with all of those different villains who are confirmed to return, like Doc Ock, like um, uh, Jamie Foxx as Electro, uh, like um, William uh, Defoe. I think that they talked about it. I know he's very, very willing. He loved playing. From what I understand, he loved playing the Green Goblin. So, um, man, that was really good. I'm really excited to see more of this. This is, um, so far, this is such a positive beginning of this. I, I don't even know what to say. I knew I had heard it was good, but, man, that is really good. Let me know what you thought down below. Actually, if you could also, just please like this video, subscribe to my channel, uh, comment down below what you think, like I already said. And also share if you could just to put my name out there if at all possible because I'm just trying to get my views up and get some hours viewed. I still like the idea of everybody who watches this video, if they like my content and they want to support me, just when they go to work, just put me on their computer and have it play through all videos. Um, and that could get me some pretty awesome hours watched. Is that cheating? It might be cheating. Please do that. Anyways. Um, but anyways, I don't really have a whole lot more to say other than that and just thank you so much for your continued support to people who have subscribed to me and uh, i will also go ahead of course in this video uh, i will put up a photo of amora uh, there's a really cute one that my wife took she had this really cute outfit on today it was just like super adorable so i'll have to go ahead and put that one up here um, but thank you so much for subscribing liking watching sharing doing all those things let me know what you thought down in the comments below down below if you liked my you know reaction all that stuff 
and uh, I'll see you in the next one.